the first thing you want to do when you're formatting your cells is get out your formatting palette if you don't have it out already. You do that by going to the view menu and choose formatting palette and this gives us a nice little sidebar of options here. These sections each toggle open and close by clicking on the arrow next to them. Here in the font section we have our font controls. I'm going to work on my header row here so I'm going to select the whole thing. You can change the font by picking a new one from the drop down menu. You can change the font size by choosing a new one from the drop down menu or you can also use the slider which gives you more of a live preview of what it's going to look like. You have your bold, italic, underline, controls there. You can change the color of the text by using this drop down menu here. Just choose a color to make it red. Your other option here is if you have your formatting toolbar open you'll notice that you have a lot of these same controls here in the formatting toolbar. The number section here allows you to specify what kind of number you have. I'm going to select my amount column here to show you. In this case it's formatted as currency, which is correct, but if we wanted to change it to percentages, we could change that and it'll reflect the changes here. I'm going to change it back to currency. If we wanted to not show as many decimal places, if we wanted to hide the cents and just have whole dollars, I can click this decrease decimal button there. The alignment and spacing section here lets you change your horizontal alignment, your vertical alignment. For example, if we had a row that was larger, like this one, we can choose to have our data up at the top instead of down at the bottom or in the middle. You can also make your text go up and down using this orientation or on a diagonal. The wrap text option here means that if you have a cell that contains a long sentence, it's going to wrap it around to multiple lines so you can see the whole thing. The borders and shading section allows you to add a fill to the cell right here. That means a background color like that. You can also choose what kind of borders you want around your cell. These borders apply to whatever group of cells you have at the time. So if I choose the outside borders, it's just going to put a border around this entire row since that's what I have selected. You can get even more formatting commands by going up to the format menu and choosing cells. In the number section, I have a lot more options here under date. So if I want to format my date column to show the year, I'm going to change my selection from this, which just shows the month and the day, to this one, which shows the month, the day, and the year. And you'll see that it updated all my dates here. It also gives you some more options for cell alignment. You can have a header row, for example, be on a diagonal. You do that by moving this up to the angle you want, choosing OK. I'm going to make my row a little larger so I can see it, but this is useful if you have really long header descriptions, but you don't want your columns to have to be too big. 